Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number eight. And in this lesson, we're gonna talk about HTML formatting. And we're gonna focus on the bold tag and the italics tag. And we're also gonna talk about two other tags that are very similar in nature. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you wanna do is open up the HTML document that we worked on in the previous tutorial. And once you have that open, let's go ahead and click inside of the paragraph that says this is our second paragraph and once you find that paragraph let's click at the beginning of that starting paragraph in other words we click right before the word this and let's go ahead and write an angle bracket the letter B and another angle bracket and that's our starting tag for the bold so this tag is going to create a bold text and then at the end of that second paragraph we're going to click and we're going to write an angle bracket forward slash the letter B and then another angle bracket and what that's going to do is that's going to close that bold tag and I'm actually going to click right after the end of this paragraph tag and I'm going to hit enter just to bring that horizontal line on another line so that it doesn't look so confusing seeing three tags at the end there but once you move that out the way it should look a little bit cleaner and if we go ahead and hit control S and then find the file on our computer and double left click on it it's going to bring up our information and you will see that if you look in your web design page where it says this is our second paragraph it's all in bold text so that's how you format your HTML text to show us bold in your workspace on your website so let's go ahead and close this out and go back to our document for HTML and this time I'm actually going to erase that closing bold tag and I'm going to place it only over the part that says this is right after the text is we're going to write an angle bracket forward slash the letter B another angle bracket hit control S again and then let's go ahead and go back to our web browser well actually I got to go back to the file because I closed out my web browser so go back to your file if you close your web browser out double left click on it again and it's going to show the differences now you'll see this time that it says this is and that's the part that's bold and the rest of it our second paragraph is not in bold and that's because I only put the tags around the part that says this is so you don't have to bold the whole paragraph you can you can bold sections of it and if you wanted to you can bold this is in second paragraph and leave our is not bold and let me show you that so when you get back to your notepad document this time we're gonna leave this is as bold and then we're gonna place our cursor right before the second the word that says second and write the, the angle bracket the bold with the letter B and then write angle bracket and when I say the bold with the letter B I just mean the lowercase b you wouldn't actually try to bold that text so just write it as, as you see it on my screen here and once you write that opening bold tag right before the word second right after the word paragraph we're gonna write and after the after the period actually too we're gonna write the closing bold tag which is just the forward slash with the B and hit control S and then let's go ahead and go back to our web browser and hit the refresh key up here and when we refresh that you'll see that this is is in bold text and second paragraph is also in bold text so you can bold certain parts you can bold one word you can bold the whole paragraph however you want to do it and the same thing will apply to other HTML formatting tags so let's go ahead and go back to my HTML document here and let's go ahead and take a look at the italics tag so for our third paragraph we're gonna place our cursor right before the word this we're going to write an angle bracket, the letter I, angle bracket, and then right after the word is, we're going to write the angle bracket in the forward slash, and that letter I in the angle bracket, and hit control S. And let's go ahead and go back to our HTML document in our web browser and hit the refresh key. And this time you'll notice that this is is in italics, but our third paragraph is all regular text. So the same actions will apply that I just showed you for the bold tag but this in this case it will be for italics so let's go ahead and go back to our HTML document again and this time we're going to put the third paragraph in, in a different formatting using 
the emphasize tag. And the emphasize tag is written like this, angle bracket, EM, angle bracket. And then at the end of that, we're going to close it with a closing EM tag, which stand, again stands for emphasize. Now emphasize is just indicating that the text is important. It's going to basically render it out the same as the italics, which is the reason that I'm placing the emphasize tag inside that same paragraph. So the difference between italics and emphasize is just that EM is standing for emphasize. It's supposed to emphasize the text, and italics is just italics. Now they both emphasize it, it's just that they're kind of related. But the main thing that you should take away from this is when you use the emphasize tag, it could potentially render differently in a, in a different uh, web browser depending on what changes are made. So I would tend to stick with the italics. I'm just showing you this just to let you know that there's other tags that could potentially render out the exact same as the italics tag. So let me go ahead and hit control S and go back to my uh, web browser and hit the refresh key. And this time you'll see that the third part here where it says third paragraph is in italics. But this is actually considered emphasized to emphasize the text. So that is, there is a difference. So the main difference is it's considered emphasized, whereas italics is considered italics. So in my opinion, they're synonymous because they render out the same usually. So you shouldn't have any problems using either one. But let's go ahead and go back to our notepad here. And this time I'm going to go back to the paragraph that says this is our second paragraph. And I'm going to change that second paragraph text to something different. In this case, we're going to change it to strong. And again, strong is standing for emphasizing as well. It, it's not emphasizing, but it, it emphasizes that it's, it's an important piece of text. And it's going to render out bold. And again, these are synonymous tags. They are essentially the same thing, but one stands for emphasize. But in my opinion, they are just the same tag for the most part. And they usually will render out the same, not always. And at the end of this paragraph, we're going to write the angle bracket forward slash strong, then the angle bracket hit control S. And let's go ahead and go. And I got to remove that last bold here. Make sure you move this bold closing tag. I forgot to move that out of there. So your, your uh, text should look something like what I have on screen here. Make sure that it looks the same. So I know we have a lot of tags here. So I'm going to leave that on screen for a second just to let you look at and see if it matches exactly what I have. So once you confirm that it matches everything, let's go ahead and hit control S, go back to our web browser. And let's go, oh, I didn't go back to my web browser. Okay, once we get back to the web browser, go ahead and hit the refresh key in your web browser. And when you hit the refresh key, you shouldn't see any changes. It should still look the same in terms of this is in our second paragraph. And you'll see that second paragraph still stays bold. But in this case, it's considered strong or it's very it's considered very important to you know based on the tags that we gave it so the second paragraph part is written with a strong tag and this is is written with a bold tag again those should be pretty much synonymous they're essentially rendering out the same thing so hopefully you, you take away this the understanding of how to accomplish giving your text a bold or italics uh, visual formatting and if you didn't understand this tutorial let me know I know it was a little bit more difficult in terms of seeing things on screen, so definitely let me know if you're not following. But if this tutorial was helpful, let me know I'm on the right track. Give me a thumbs up, share, and bid, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials for HTML. Have a great day.